Bianca is here because she says her children were taken from her due to false accusations of cocaine use and sexual abuse. Oh. Her husband, Robert, was accused of sexually abusing her young son, and Bianca tested positive for cocaine six times. But Robert claims he's innocent, and Bianca claims she's never once used cocaine. Take a look. Last summer, I went to the store, and when I came back, my kids were gone, and my things was put out on the street. I left my kids at home alone because I knew I wasn't going to be gone that long, and they were asleep. Now, it's been over a year that I haven't had my kids in my custody. And since my kids have been in foster care, there's an allegation that my husband, Robert, sexually abused my son. And I don't believe it. Since my kids have been in state custody, I've had to complete classes, take random drug tests. Each random drug test that I take have come back positive for cocaine. And I'm not understanding how does it come back for cocaine when I've never done cocaine. It is possible that the reason why I failed my drug test is because of my husband, Robert, drug abuse. But my husband's been clean for over a year. My husband is a good man. I don't believe he's ever sexually abused my son. Robert, what started all this? Um, well, basically, we went, to, um, we went to the store early that morning, like you said. Um, we left our children at home which was a mistake. Um, when we came back, like she said, we were evicted, and our stuff was put out, and our landlord told us that CPS took our children. So we go to the CPS building, go through their process, started the classes, doing everything we have to do to get our children back. And they, they took your kids away because you left them alone? Yes, sir. Yeah. And afterwards, um, around March, the court date, the one court date that I missed, is when these allegations came about that... That you sexually abused Bianca's son. Yes. And you say you didn't do it. I never did it. Now, Bianca failed the drug test That's for, for cocaine six times. It might be my fault. I was doing cocaine. I don't know if... You were doing cocaine. Yeah. Now, how were you using it? I'm snorting. Snort? Yeah. Well, see, but if you're snorting cocaine, how does it get into her system? Um, Sex? I don't, I don't know. Sex? Probably, I don't know. Through we semen? Don't, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. But it doesn't strike you as odd that she's failing for cocaine so much? Are you I don't sprinkling think my wife on her does. grapefruit? What? I don't know. My wife doesn't do cocaine. But, you know, it's odd that she's not once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times for cocaine use. I understand. Yeah. Um, now, we offered to give you a drug test today, and you refused I'm to serious. take it. I'm dirty for weed. I mean, what was the point of taking Well, to show that you didn't do cocaine. OK, I understand. But, well, you see my point. Why yeah, we'd yeah, want to I take hear, you yeah, yeah. But you didn't feel that that was necessary. No, I'm here to prove that I didn't sexually, sexually abuse a child. When's the last time you did cocaine? Be honest. It's been about two or three months. So you say she's never done cocaine. You've never really You've never sexually abused a child. No, sir, not at all. And you're here to prove your innocence. Yeah. Steve, I've never done cocaine. I've never done it. Never, ever in life. Never. Neither have I. And I guarantee you that if I went back and took a drug test myself, it wouldn't be in my system. And I got drug tested all the time when I was in the Marine Corps, when I was a police officer. I got drug tested all the time. And I never failed the test. So it's hard for me to believe that you failed six tests for cocaine and that it would never be in your system. I understand that, but it's just a hair follicle test that I'm testing positive for. I've never tested positive well, I, for I it understand. in my urine. Right, but if it's in your hair, it doesn't make it any better. How You're is right. this cocaine getting in your system? It could be that, I don't know. It could be something that I'm touching. It could be anything. What are you touching? Money, money is the dirtiest thing in the world. So it could be. It I could handle money all the time. From surfaces or anything, I don't know. I don't know. That's the. That's my thing. I don't know how it's getting in my hair. Is how much cocaine was he using? I'm not sure. I don't. He's I, your I, husband. I know, but 
You ever he see never him do done it? it around me. He no. never did it in front of me. He never did it in front of me. How did you know he was doing it? He told me, and I based it. Well, I picked up on it. I could tell there was things that. Is he a drug dealer? No. 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 Do you know He's drug, not a drug dealer? Are you friends with drug dealers? I know drug dealers. Yeah. Now, your kids have been gone for how long? Over a year now. Over a year. And that's got to be pretty hard on you. Yes. Yeah. How yes. often do you see them? I see them once a week. Once a week. Yes. You have given us documents. You've showed uh, my production staff that you are doing everything that the court has ordered you yes. to do to get your kids back. So yes. you did provide that, and you are trying to get your kids back. Yes. Robert came here and took a, a lie detector test because he was accused of sexually molesting your son. We asked him, did you ever do anything sexual with Bianca's son? He answered no. He told the truth. <laughs> okay. Um, Bianca, you did agree to a drug test. And... We gave you a drug test with a 18 panel urinalysis, and the drug test came back, and you passed. Uh, no drugs in the system. <laughs> and then we gave you a lie detector test. Have you ever used any form of cocaine? You answered no. Have you ever used any form of cocaine in the presence of any of your children? You answered no. Have you ever been present when Robert has used any form of cocaine? You answered no. Uh, those three questions came back. The results came back all the same. And you told the truth. <laughs> and then we asked you, have you ever allowed anyone else to use any form of cocaine in your home? You answered no, and you did not tell the truth. Okay, I don't like the shock look when the first three questions you had no problem with, with the, you know, result. And then, you know, is it a real stretch that you knew or one of his buddies are in there doing cocaine in your house? Not a huge leap mm, of faith there, right? I never had one, no one no. in the house. Well, did it's you allow, did you allow him to use cocaine in your house? No. Nobody? No. So all these questions come back, you're telling the truth, but the last one says you failed, that you're not being truthful, and you're saying, all these three are right, but this one's wrong. And I don't understand why. And that's why people get their kids taken away. And that's the truth. I think you've made some bad decisions, but your bad decisions are not just affecting you. So, you, you know, yeah. when we're parents, when we make bad decisions, it affects the whole family, right? Right. And your kids now have been in foster care for over a year now, okay? You knew he was doing cocaine. Why are you with somebody that's doing cocaine when you're raising children? <laughs> and I think that when they give you choices like, you know, have him move out for a while, maybe get your kids back, and you're not doing that, well, guess what? They stay away. And I hate to say it, but you're picking him over your kids, which is. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. We're not even staying together right now. We haven't been together, together with I'm each other for the last from him. four months. And why aren't you together? She's staying I'm, with I'm, her sister. I'm, I'm staying where I'm staying. So. I've chosen I mean, to right. stay away from, to okay. not be well, a Well, that's probably a good thing. Yeah. It's, it's probably a good thing. Yeah, if I make that decision to distance myself from him. So which is, would you say him. that's a good idea or a bad idea? That's a good idea. And why is it a good idea to distance yourself from so him? So she can get her so children back. So I can get, not only get my children back, get myself together. Do some soul searching for myself. Yeah. Um, I wish you all the luck in getting your kids back. I really do. And you get into a frame of mind where you say, you know what, I'm going to make nothing but good decisions for my kids. Don't put yourself in a position to lose your kids, OK? Yes, sir. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Good luck.
If you like what you see, all new episodes are coming and you do not want to miss out. Click subscribe now. Thank <laughs> you.